Did you know that we have channel memberships now? If you'd like to help support this channel, get some exclusive Kawabana emotes to use in the comments, as well as an exclusive badge by your name, click that join button now to find out more. Every bit of support really helps. Thanks guys. Please note that this week's urban legend deals with animals and train tracks, so although there are no real descriptions of such events, if you'd still rather give this one a pass, please feel free. One night we were driving the steam train when we heard the familiar noises of another train coming towards us. A whistle blew, and we realised that if we didn't stop our train, we would run right into them. We stopped and got out to see what was going on, but no train ever came. Another night, we heard the same sounds of a steam train coming, and even its whistle, but we ignored it and picked up speed. We wondered if we might hit the other train head on, but we continued without incident. As dawn broke, we found a dead tanuki on the tracks by Yatsuyama. Steam trains run on a single track, so there was no reason for another train to come hurtling so recklessly towards us. Well, tanuki sure do love imitating things, don't they? Legends of ghost trains exist all around the world, but the legend of the fake, not ghost, train in Japan is a little different. In Japan, these old fake trains were believed to actually be tanuki. The first steam train started operation in Japan in 1872, and the very first line connected Yokohama to Shimbashi in Tokyo. The sights and sounds of these massive vehicles terrified many who had never seen such a thing before, and even the drivers reported many strange happenings on the tracks, particularly at night. It wasn't long until these strange occurrences were blamed on the poor tanuki. The Yatsuyama story is believed to be the first mention of fake trains on the tracks, and also of blaming these mystery locomotives on tanuki. Tanuki have long been viewed as playful, yet deceitful characters. Not only that, they're shapeshifters. So, if anyone or anything was going to be on the tracks imitating a train, well, surely it would have to be a tanuki, yes? But they're not the only shapeshifters out there. Touwo Ibun, published in 1926 by Sasaki Kizen, mentions a story from the Waga district of Iwate Prefecture, in which a train driver hears another steam train coming right for him on the tracks one night. He feared they would collide, and yet nothing happened. It was as though the other train simply vanished. When he went back the next morning to check the tracks, he found several old kitsune, foxes, had been run over and killed. Tanuki were most often to blame for fake train sightings, but kitsune also took their fair share of the blame as well. Both were considered to be shape-shifting creatures who had little problem fooling and making fun of humans. Yet, the joke was on them when the real train rolled through and the next morning, the little deceivers were found dead on or next to the tracks. These sightings weren't just folklore either. Numerous fake train reports made it to the newspapers at the time, often blamed on tanuki. The May 3rd, 1889 edition of the Toho Nippo Press ran an article on a steam train from Ueno that, when passing by Okegawa, heard the sound of a steam whistle coming from up ahead. In a panic, the driver attempted to stop the train and frantically blew his own whistle. Something that appeared to be another steam train in the fog picked up speed, heading towards him, yet there was no collision. It seemed to vanish into thin air. Yet, when he looked down on the tracks, he saw two dead tanuki roughly the size of a dog lying on the ground. These tanuki were apparently then skinned and made into a soup. Tanuki running onto the tracks appeared to be a real problem at the time. The November 27, 1878 edition of the Yomiuri Shimbun ran the very first article on the tanuki and steam trains problem, stating that at 10pm on November 24th, a large tanuki ran across the tracks at Yatsuyama as a steam train approached, and, in essence, killed itself, unable to bear being around its comrades any longer. 
Here we can see the personification of the creature, treating it as though it were almost human, like the many folk tales and legends of the day did. The creature didn't just run across the tracks, it willingly sacrificed itself because it could no longer bear to be around more of its own kind. Interesting reporting, for sure, but it demonstrates how tanuki were viewed at the time, and why it was easy for so many to believe that these shapeshifters were morphing into trains to mess with drivers. It's interesting to note that there was a period of almost six years between the first steam trains operating in Japan and the first sightings of fake, or tanuki trains. Why did it take so long for these tanuki to find their footing? Matsudani Miyoko, who wrote Gendai Minwa Ko, Thoughts on Modern Folk Tales, suggested that this was because Japan's first steam trains were operated by British drivers, until Japanese drivers were fully trained to take over. This changeover happened to take place around the same time tanuki started to make their appearances on the tracks. It's possible that the British drivers, unaware of the history and folklore around tanuki, thought little of these small animals, if anything, if they ever saw them near the tracks. Japanese drivers, however, grew up with stories of how tanuki were tricksters, how they liked to play with and deceive humans. Once Japanese drivers took over, they were far more likely to associate unexplainable occurrences with the devious tricksters they'd grown up with, and the sight of real dead tanuki and foxes likely helped with that. It's important to note that tanuki, in reality, are quite timid creatures. It's thought they earned their devious characteristic because they like to play dead with hunters and then get up and run away at the last minute when, in reality, it turns out they may have been fainting in fear, not playing dead. They're also apt to freeze on the spot, much like a deer in headlights, when confronted with something that threatens them. Like a large steam locomotive bearing down on them in the darkness. It's easy to see how this urban legend came about, and it's certainly a unique twist on the ghost train genre. Stories of these twisted tanuki faded away over the years, much like the steam trains themselves, but for a brief period, it seemed they were all over the tracks, haunting drivers in the night until they met their grisly demises. Yet, for such a devious and tricky creature, it would appear they didn't fully think through charging at a train head-on. Or maybe they finally cottoned on and that's why we don't have fake trains anymore. Who knows? But what do you guys think about this one? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.